egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Loosen the access panel door cover screw. Remove the two hard drive screws. Slide the access panel door cover down and lift it away from the laptop. Remove the hard drive. Unscrew the single optical drive latch locking screw. Eject the optical drive latch by pressing it in. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop base. Next, with your fingers, separate the clips on each side of the memory stick until the memory lifts up. Loosen the four heat sink screws. Unplug the heat sink fan. Lift and remove the heat sink from the motherboard. Using a small flat head screwdriver, turn the CPU's processor's lock and screw counterclockwise, approximately 180 degrees, to unlock the CPU. Unscrew the two screws on the left and right hinge covers. Slide the hinge covers away from the laptop base. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless cards. Disconnect the LCD cable from the motherboard, loosen from the upper routing channels. Remove all the wireless cards from the motherboard. Remove the two hinge screws. Remove the seven palm rest screws on the bottom of the laptop. Loosen the two palm rest screws located in the optical drive bay. Unplug the CMOS battery from the motherboard. In the battery area, loosen the three clips by sliding them to the left to loosen the LED cover. Flip the laptop over. Carefully lift the LCD display assembly away from the bottom base. Lift and remove the LED cover from the laptop base. Remove the two screws holding the keyboard to the bottom base. Using the tab at the top of the keyboard, slide the keyboard up and lift the keyboard away from the bottom base assembly. Disconnect the four palm rest cables. Remove the four screws holding the palm rest to the base assembly. Carefully unsnap and lift the palm rest off the laptop base. Remove the two screws from the express card slot. Remove the filler card.
To remove the cage, you will have to press down at the center of the cage and lift the back edge at the same time. Disconnect the 1394 cable. Disconnect the smart card cable. Remove the three motherboard screws. Carefully lift the motherboard out of the base starting at the back. The USB NIC circuit board will disconnect from the motherboard and stay in the base assembly. Remove the DC jack and cable from the base assembly. Replace the DC jack, reroute the cable through the channels on the base assembly. Place the motherboard on the base assembly, starting by positioning the motherboard underneath the LCD display latch assembly. Press the motherboard down onto the USB circuit board to make sure the connection is seated correctly. Replace the three motherboard screws. Connect a smart card cable. Connect the 1394 cable. Replace the express card slot cage assembly. Secure it with the two screws. Place the touchpad palm rest onto the laptop base starting from the bottom working your way up. Replace the four screws to hold down the touchpad palm rest to the bottom base assembly. Connect and plug in the four palm rest cables. Place the keyboard onto the laptop, slide it into the connector. Secure the keyboard with the two screws. Place the LED cover onto the laptop, press down until the clips lock into place. Place the LCD display assembly onto the base. Close the LCD lid and flip the laptop over. Replace the two hinge screws to hold down the display assembly to the bottom base. Replace the seven touchpad palm rest screws. Tighten the two palm rest screws in the optical drive bay. Reconnect the DC jack cable. Plug the CMOS battery into the motherboard. Place the CPU into the processor slot. 
Lock it down by turning the locking screw clockwise. Replace the heat sink fan assembly. Tighten down the four heat sink screws in a numeric order located on the heat sink. Plug the heat sink fan into the motherboard. Place the memory stick into the slot, aligning the notches on the memory stick to the notches on the slot. Do this at a 45 degree angle. Push down until you hear a click. Replace all the wireless cards on the motherboard. Reroute the antenna cable and LCD cables through the bottom routing channels. Connect the antenna cables to the wireless cards. Connect the LCD cable to the motherboard. Slide the optical drive into the laptop base. Replace the locking screw. Place the hinge covers onto the laptop base, slide them into position. Replace the two hinge cover screws. Place the access door cover onto the laptop starting at the bottom, slide up into place. Replace the hard drive. Screw down the single retaining screw, replace the two hard drive screws. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.